You've heard the saying, there's more than one way to skin a cat. Well, there's more than one way to cut timber. So I've got a few saws on hand and I'm going to show you which one is right for which job and how to use them like a true professional. And don't worry, no cats will be harmed in the filming of this segment. The handsaw. You've probably got one of these at home and if not, you've probably seen one. Now these are all the same, the only difference is the more teeth it has, the finer the cut, the less teeth, the rougher the cut. And for the sharp size, the difference in the blade size, the bigger it is, the quicker you're going to get through the cut. Now, you use a handsaw for cutting down bulk material because it is a very quick cut. Look at that. Who needs power when you've got these guns? <laughs> Next, we're into the specialist end of the saw family, the tenon saw. It's a surgeon's scalpel. It's a hardware and saw with a reinforced back, which gives a precise, clean cut. And if you use it with a miter box, you'll get the perfect joint every time. If you've ever tried installing skirting boards yourself and been disappointed with the finish in the internal corners, you're probably not scribing your joins. And to do that, you use a coping saw. Now, a scribe join is great because it hides any inconsistencies in those corners because they're not always perfectly 90 degrees. And also, a coping saw is good for doing any detailed work. And the name, well, it comes about because it helps you cope with those sticky situations. Here's another specialist saw which is perfect for your toolbox. The flush cut saw has a very thin blade and really fine tooth which makes it nice and easy for cutting up against your work surface without scratching it, which is great for cutting off any excess dowels. And finally, we get to the hacksaw. Now, you might have seen this in movies when people are trying to free themselves from handcuffs or you're just trying to cut some steel at home. But one thing you might not know about the hacksaw is you can actually change your blade to this diamond tip rod and that allows you to cut through ceramic tiles. Let's check it out. So there's my pick of saws that should make the cut in your workshop. With the right tool for the right job, your next project will look a million bucks.